In this video, we'll be taking a look at two WNBA games happening on September 29, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two WNBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Liberty vs. Connecticut Sun The New York Liberty and Connecticut Sun meet Friday in Game 3 of the WNBA Semifinals Playoffs at the Mohegan Sun Arena. The New York Liberty look for back-to-back -back wins to take a 2-1 series lead. The Liberty have lost just three games since July 30th. The Connecticut Sun look a win and have lost five home games since July 30th. The Sun have won nine of their last 14 games. In Game 1 of this series, it was the Sun that were able to secure the 78-63 victory. The series is tied at one game apiece following a seven-point victory from New York in Game 2. Offensively this season, New York was the second-best team in the league, averaging 89 points on 46% shooting, while the defense shined as well, allowing you 79 points per game. Sabrina Ionescu is leading New York through the playoffs, averaging 18 points on 41.8% shooting from the floor. Newly crowned MVP Brina Stewart is second on the team averaging 17 points, while Betna Jelani is averaging 15 points per game. John Quill Jones is third on the team scoring 16 points per game to go along with a team leading 12.5 rebounds. The Connecticut Sun will be at home for the first time in the semifinals Friday night after their loss in Game 2 of the series. Defensively, Connecticut struggled immensely in Game 2, giving up 84 points, including 46 in the second second half on 44.6% shooting from the floor. The Connecticut offense was terrible, making less than 40% of their shots and turned the ball over 10 times, resulting in just 77 total points scored. Tiffany Hayes carried the load for Connecticut in Game 2, pouring in 30 points on 19 shots. Dewana Bonner chipped in a second-best 19 points in 40 minutes, while Alyssa Thomas added 10 points as the third Connecticut player in double figures. The Connecticut bench was horrendous, scoring just two total points in the game. The Liberty are 2-7 against the spread in their last nine games, playing on two days rest, and 1-5 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Sun are 6-2 against the spread in their last eight Friday games, and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. The over is 5-1 in Liberty last six overall. The over is 13-6 in Sun last 19 home games. The Liberty are 2-5 against the spread in the last seven meetings in Connecticut. As I've said twice in this series, the Liberty are going to be favored because they're simply the better team, no matter how you slice it. However, the value will always be with the Sun and the points, given that they're not that far off. The Sun are experienced, good offensively, and were first in scoring defense this year. It's hard to turn down the Sun in the underdog role, especially when they've played the Liberty twice in this series, including stealing Game 1. So the Connecticut Sun to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The New York Liberty are averaging 82 points on 41.2% shooting and allowing 79 points on 41.4% shooting. Sabrina Ionescu is averaging 18 points and 3.3 assists while Brina Stewart is averaging 17 points and 8.5 rebounds. John Cole Jones is the third double-digit scorer, and Bet Nijelani is dishing 2.3 assists. The New York Liberty are shooting 30.9% from beyond the arc and 87.3% from the free-throw line. The New York Liberty are allowing 31.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 37.8 rebounds per game. The Connecticut Sun are averaging 82 points on 46.1% shooting and allowing 73 points on 41 percent shooting. Duana Bonner is averaging 21 points and 4.2 assists, while Alyssa Thomas is averaging 17 points and 6.4 rebounds. Tiffany Hayes is the third double-digit scorer and Rebecca Allen is grabbing 6.4 rebounds. The Connecticut Sun are shooting 41.9% from beyond the arc and 75% from the free-throw line. The Connecticut Sun allowing 32.3% shooting from deep and are grabbing 33.4 rebounds per game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
Las Vegas Aces vs. Dallas Wings The Las Vegas Aces and Dallas Wings meet Friday in Game 3 of the WNBA Semifinals Playoffs at the College Park Center. The Las Vegas Aces look to complete the sweep and make back-to-back -back WNBA final appearances. The Aces have lost five games since July 9. The Dallas Wings need a win to force a Game 4 on Sunday. The Wings have won nine of their last 15 games. The Las Vegas offense was a smoke show in the regular season averaging nearly 93 points per game on 48.6% shooting, while the defense allowed only 74 points in that same stretch. Through the playoffs, Las Vegas is averaging just 90 points per game, while the defense has stayed true allowing exactly 74 points. Ajay Wilson led the way for the Las Vegas offense in the regular season averaging 23 points per game to go along with the team leading 9.5 rebounds. Kelsey Plum was second on the team averaging 18.7 while Jackie Young chipped in 17.6 points. Chelsea Gray orchestrated the Vegas offense averaging 15 points and a team leading 7.3 assists per game. The Dallas Wings return home Friday night with their backs against the wall down by two games in their semifinal matchup. Dallas has struggled in this series averaging just 83.5 points per game down from their season average of 88 points. Defensively, the Dallas struggles have shined as well allowing 94 points through the first two games up 8 points from their defensive average this season. Defensively, Dallas struggled immensely in Game 2 of this series allowing 91 points including 47 in the second half as Vegas shot 46.2% from the floor. Offensively, the Dallas struggles continued making just 37.5% of their shots and turned the ball over nine times to score only 84 points in the loss. Eric Ogenboyle led the show for the Dallas offense scoring 24 points on 22 shots in 38 minutes of action. Natasha Howard was second on the team with 20 points and 10 rebounds, while Sadu Savali added 13 points in 37 minutes. The Aces are 1-4 against the spread in their last five road games and 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Wings are 4-0 against the spread in their last four Friday games and 5-1 against the spread in their last six games overall. The over is 19-7 in Aces' last 26 road games. The over is 19-6-1 in Wings' last 26 overall. The Aces are 3-7 against the spread in the last 10 meetings. I consider the Dallas Wings and the points because they're at home and their season is on the line. However, the Las Vegas Aces have been mighty comfortable in this series. They're the head and shoulders better side and this is a line you don't get with them often. We're used to seeing the Aces as double-digit favorites. So while I'll be rooting for the Wings to extend in the series simply for more basketball. So the Las Vegas Aces to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Las Vegas Aces are averaging 92 points on 46% shooting and allowing 74 points on 38.2% shooting. Ajay Wilson is averaging 29 points and 10.8 rebounds, while Kelsey Plum is averaging 17 points and 2 rebounds. Chelsea Gray is the third double-digit scorer and Jackie Young is grabbing 6.3 rebounds. The Las Vegas Aces are shooting 36.7% from beyond the arc and 92.3% from the free throw line. The Las Vegas Aces are allowing 30 4.4% shooting from deep and are grabbing 40 rebounds per game. The Dallas Wings are averaging 90.5 points on 45.3% shooting and allowing 86 points on 44.2% shooting. Eric Ogenboyle is averaging 20 points and 6 assists, while Sadu Sabli is averaging 18.5 points and 5.5 rebounds. Tierra McCowan is the third double-digit scorer and Natasha Howard is grabbing 8.5 rebounds. The Dallas Wings are shooting 38.8% from beyond the arc and 70.8% from the free throw line. The Dallas Wings are allowing 41.5% shooting from deep and are grabbing 38.5 rebounds per game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.